All right, everybody, I am Timothy Hoxley, also known as Timothy Rogers on GridPress. And this is my first video for GridPress and going out and taking a look around. So, I am here in the well-known, or should be well-known, Third Rock Grid. Third Rock Grid is one of the older grids that has been around for a long time. They are quite vast and I really think it's sad that not many people have heard of them. Um, recently, the famous Linda Henson, also formerly known as Linda Kelly, has joined their grid and is one of their <coughs> rocks, kind of like the Lindens for Third Rock. I really have to say, um, I haven't had much experience talking with them, I have spoken with them briefly. They really seem like they are a very community-oriented grid. and. I really look forward to taking a look through their brand new welcome area designed by the Linda Henson. And let's just take a look around. So first off, moving forward, I first landed here. <clears throat> and I need to get rid of that book of marker. Right away, oh, they have local artists, an information booth. Right off the back, I, I'm loving how quick you can get to your information. Okay, and then, you know, I have freebies over here. Shopping. And tutorials. So, let's just pretend I'm brand new, and let's head over to the tutorial section. I must say, I love the bridge. It looks absolutely wonderful. And it seems that my sculptures aren't turned up that high, so it'll look good when we get close. <laughs> Alright. I'm assuming we go this way first. Mm. I'm hoping I'm going the right direction. Let's go left and see if that works better. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it's more of a wander and find your own help. Not really organized, but still nonetheless. Let's see how well they are. Avatar layering. Customizing, editing your appearance. Pretty much just seems pretty basic. I will say that I find it very interesting that they do break it down a little bit more. I would love to see Viewer 2 cards, because I'm on a Viewer 2, so my interface doesn't look about the same. Um, some things are similar, some things are different. Uh, let's take a look here. Adding friends. I will say that their cards look a lot more detailed and have a lot more text on them, and they seem to load almost instantly, which is a major plus, as some people absolutely need to have things loading up quickly. So I pulled up on this thing. Um, traveling by TP. Uh, these are very detailed note cards, and that is really impressive to me. Alright. All very cool because sim crossing, and you know, that is true. A lot of people do not know what a sim crossing is. Let's see what happens. Very cool. And she even tells you how to, you know, know exactly what and see the property lines. And that is something very needed, in my opinion. Uh, to show property lines in Firestorm, you go to World, show more property lines. And, as you see, right there's the red line showing the sim crossing. Uh, I believe that is Linda Kelly's building war. She's got tons of little goodies over there. Uh, you can find that on our website. Linda Henson, I'm sorry. But it's lindakelly.com still. So let's go on back over and let's take a look at the other part. I'm very eager to see the rest of this welcome area. You know what? Let's take a fly. Oh look, there's already somebody else new here. Jax Dax. We're just gonna head on over to the freebie section and let's see what they got first from starting freebies. Well, right away I'm seeing some starter avatars, which is very nice. You can get another free avatar. Which is something people really should do is a lot of people see these starting avatars and you know it's kind of hard to pick if you want to have more than one in. I am super happy to see a line of 
of furries here. That is very, very happy. It makes me very happy to see. Although I wish you would have brought in my white wolf I'd like. <laughs> um, and child avatars, um, some adult avatars, humans, fairies, uh, I want to say elf, I hope. I'm not screwing that up. And it looks like over here is the freebie, uh, designer showcase. Alright, now what I heard about the designer showcase is residents of this grid have an opportunity to put out things that they create for free and have them displayed here. Yes, here we go. Um, here you'll find free samples and information about many creators, designers, and brand names that have come to the Third Rock Grid. <clears throat> so I think it's you all get to, if you're a content creator, get to be on display right in the welcome area. Contributing, I'm sure you just plop a landmark inside whatever you're selling and I'm sure that's what they do, what you do. Because honestly, I think that's one of the biggest things to get you content, especially on these newer grids. Oh, and another just random interesting fact. Third Rock Grid was the very first grid to have been working in world economy. Other than Second Life, of course. <laughs> but that's besides the point. I think that's quite an impressive achievement. And the fact that they're still around and they haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> oh, and they have a region showcase. I like this. Uh, you always need to have some form of uh, showing your residents what there is. Because that's one of the biggest things I hate. Is that I gotta open up my map. And even if you do have a lot of regions, it's just... It's just you see a bunch of blobs everywhere and names. You don't really know what's out there. And you see these seem to have descriptions and... It's perfect for a showcase. I'm absolutely loving it. <clears throat> all, all this lovely stuff, all these places. So let's hurry up and go take a last bit of look at the shopping area, which is in the other direction over here. Now, <clears throat> again, I just love this platform. It, I don't know, I've always just loved platforms. <laughs> Anything over the water. I love the water. Alright, so let's see what we got over here. Okay. How to get money on the third rock grid. I already know how to do that. And I'll leave you guys to come over here and click that to find out more. Alright, and over here... All very cool gaming session. Oh, pretty cool. You guys can come play games. Now that looks like a really interesting game. Now I've never seen that before. Oh my god, this place has a lot of cool stuff. Again, something looks like sucks in the ground. <clears throat> um, a lounging area. This place looks absolutely fabulous. I love it. All right, let's keep uh, let's keep exploring. See what else we got out here. All right, I'm going to be heading in this direction. This looks like it's way to the stores. All right, how to buy things. Um, how to sell things. See, I, I think this is good, because if you're coming to the store, you, you want to capture these people, because a lot of people are going to want to go and buy. Not a lot of people like to buy it first, but if you're in other grids, every grid's got their own little purchasing system. It's always a little bit different, so it's very good to have that. Sim crossing was pretty quick there. Um, let's take a look. They've already got some stores. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot of stores already taken. I am quite impressed by that. CMNC, t shirts, uh, legendary, legendary customs. Hmm, let's take a look at this. Pretty cool. I almost see. Uh, oh, and a free translator. That is absolutely great. Um, it's always important to have a translator. And then we see where there's Zoom Tada. That is Linda Henson's store. I think that's a smaller version of her store. Oh, DGD. Absolutely love DGD. I'm gonna have to buy some geodes now, which is the name of their currency. And <laughs> I look like, that's all the women's stuff. I want the men's stuff too. <laughs> Absolutely love D DGD. Not being paid to say anything, but yes, I love DGD. Um. <clears throat> A little cafe over there. Very cool. Seems like a modified version from the Linda Kelly Freebie Mall. Um, let's take a look. 
So I'm walking around a little bit more, seeing all this lovely stuff. I'm sorry, I really should have turned up my sculpty rendering, you guys. Venus Designs. Oh, well, this looks pretty good. Some really nice content. So honestly, I'm quite impressed by this. See, already people right here in the welcome area, or uh, shopping area. Pretty cool. And then we come out here. An unpacking area. Very awesome. I think that's always important to have in a store. And let's take a look down here. Oh, just, I love these decks and patios and stuff. Absolutely love, ooh, those balls. Awesome. <laughs> ooh, hello. Not bad. And what about this one? Yeah, that's more me, but I need to get some shorts on because I shouldn't be doing that in business attire. <laughs> Again, I have to say, my rating of this welcome center, well, you know, the welcome area of this entire grid, um, five check marks system, you know, one check mark being the worst, five check marks being the best, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna be giving it a five out of five. Um, absolutely everything that should be covered is covered the note cards the, it seems super simple for anyone who's a first-time user tutorials the clicking it I just don't think it could get any easier um, one thing I might well, one thing I might suggest to them is there's an arrow keys about the third rock grid or around the third rock grid logo right here at the landing zone maybe not needed I don't know some people say they don't know how to walk when they log in, but honestly, I think it's simple enough. I mean, I'm using my WASD. You can use your arrow keys, really depending on your viewer and your settings, so... I don't think it's too difficult to figure out. Um, anyways, 5 out of 5. Love it. Seems great. Absolutely think a lot of effort was put into this, and it's definitely... It's definitely deserves it and I really think with this redo everything is awesome well until next time my name is Timothy Hoxley here in Third Rock and also Timothy Rogers on Good Press and I will talk to you guys later <laughs>